Hey guys, today I am specifically going to talk about sponsorships, uh, YouTube ad revenue, and how this all works. So in the message to his patrons, Moon Channel is talking about his sponsors needing another video. And this would be an easy video for him to make, and therefore he would be able to show two videos a month, right? And then he would be able to, the sponsor would be happy about that. Well, if you look at his channel, it's probably exactly correct. He's making about two videos a month. And the, you know, the jobs versus the completeness VG law review is 57 minutes and seven seconds, which means that it is, is definitely a very long, very long video and something that he has worked quite hard on, as he mentions. But it is also a sponsored video. Um, his sponsors want him to make it because of the format of the sponsors. So at the very end, he wants uh, both Muta and Carl Jobs to give up their sponsorships, their ad revenue, their income from the drama film, the drama topic, when he, in fact, is also milking the drama. Um, it is quite impressive, to be frank with you, um, that he was able to do a fundraiser on top of a drama for fundraising. And like I mentioned, I think a lot of times you should donate because you want to donate, not because somebody online tells you. And you should donate to local charities, not online charities, because at least then you can visit the animal shelter, you can see what type of dog food they need, what type of puppy pads, if you're into that, if you want to go to the hospital. Um, a lot of these donations made online, there is very, very little... Um, it's very, very little like um, progress, I think, uh, in terms of how these donations are going. Um, I think donations should be more careful. It is your money, not the person's money. So I also don't like the fact that they make it seem like, oh, hey, I'm such a good guy. We raised so much money when the person hasn't donated a single cent, right? They just uh, made the charity, which would then allow them to get more clout and so on. So the what, one thing that rubs me the wrong way for the Moon Channel is he is a lawyer. And as a lawyer, there are two foundations. Uh, one, one group of lawyers thinks the law should be extremely complicated and non-lawyers should not be able to speak about the law. And the other foundation, the other group like that I'm in, believe the law should be simple enough that somebody reading it uh, should be... I, I work in immigration. I fully believe that somebody with a high school level of education should be able to file immigration or patent or trademark by themselves. Um, I believe this because, you know, I, I work in it and I, I don't think it's that difficult. Um, now, if you want a lawyer to appeal something or, you know, to argue something, that's fine. But the form should be and hopefully will be in soon. Uh, easy enough for the average person to read and understand, right? If the average person is expected to do their taxes, right? Again, maybe there's a program that helps them. Then I think the average person can do immigration and patents and trademarks or apply for those. Now, the other part that I feel is a little misleading from Moon's video is like how, how money, everyone is in it for the money, for the views. I mean, to think that he is probably one of the only people who doesn't want the views, who doesn't want the drama, yet he himself has made a video even saying that he hadn't researched at all, he didn't even listen to the recording, is asinine in my opinion because he knew what he knew that video would do very well. Uh, the video's got 117,000 views. Um, his cozy video has 37,000 views. The video game industry is not collapsing. A lawyer explained 103,000 views a month ago. This is definitely one of his better videos in the last two months. I think that is important to know um, that he understands, like I understand, that this is a trending topic and people are still very interested even a month later in the outcome. Uh, even though there's no real updates, there's no nothing, people still want to talk, right? And you ride that trend until you can't ride it again. So he's doing the exact same thing he's accusing Carl Jobs and Muter of doing was to take advantage of the drama, create a dramatic situation, right? He, in, in this case, 
Um, the other part that I disagree with is when he mentions that since these two are the accusers, he was more hard on them. Um, this is like whistleblowing 101. You don't want to ever say that because then there will be no whistleblower. If the judge was like, hey, every whistleblower, we're going to become, we're going to get much, we're going to go after them, right? Then there won't be any whistles to blow. I mean, no, no one would ever do it. It's retaliation, you know, retaliation. So again, I do think um, the Moon Channel is interesting because he obviously believes, Core believes uh, in charity and, and uh, giving people opportunities and so on. But he doesn't really have, uh, just like me, I don't have, I don't, I didn't know who Gerard was or Carl was or Muto was until I watched their videos, right? And then I did a little bit more research, a little bit more homework. Um, but you know, it's, a, you know, it's a trending topic, right? You know, it's a popular topic and you yourself and people make decisions to make videos based on views. If all things were equal, it would be great if I could just make patent law videos, right? But you guys should be bored to death. All things being equal, it would be great if I could do uh, videos that I truly wanted to do. And and some sub some YouTube channels have that ability, but most people they fall in the category and they're kind of segmented in that category. And you have to do this, including Moon Channel, which is pretty surprising in my opinion that he doesn't realize he himself is in that category of individuals who have to make this type of video because the sponsorship wants you to make that video. And um, I, I really don't think, and I really do believe that the, in all likelihood, um, it is everybody. It is everybody is on YouTube, is there. I was watching another live streamer, and he, he had like five live stream views. He was a watch guy. Um, and he betrayed like all his like friends and in, in, in the groups, uh, and uh, all he wanted is views. He wants viewers. He wants live stream. He wants donations. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone is on YouTube to for their self gain, right? It's not easy making YouTube videos every. You know, I'm a little sick right now, um, but I'm still pumping out YouTube videos because it does help my business. It does help my marketing business. It does help my legal business. It does help me get some leads that you wouldn't think so, right? I mean, you'd be like, oh, why would making a video on the completionist get you any leads? Well, I get phone calls all the time saying, hey, I watched your video on the completionist. Um, can you help me with a patent issue? Um, we are all on YouTube for value to ourselves. Or, and th there's no different from Gerard, no different from me. We are all on YouTube to get as many views as we can to reach out as many people as we can and in many cases to raise or to get as much money as we can. There's nothing wrong with it if you accept that's the basis of the majority of people on YouTube. And Moon, he is saying this exact same thing, right? But he wants to take the route that this is a legal court. It is not a legal court. We are on YouTube. And YouTube is a free-for-all. It's very different than having a judge. There is no judge on YouTube. Maybe Susan is a judge. But um, it, it's not easy. Anyway, bye guys.